this is Smiley Dakota and we're about to do a coral frag video. So we have two frags, two Montiparas that we need to glue into place that need highlight. So the first thing we need to do is to remove the water down to the point where the corals are going. Let's see if you can remove some water. So you're siphoning the water. You, if you have any sand on your hands, you can dip them in the tank. Same way? Yep. I don't mm -hmm. remember how to do it now. It's, yep, there you go. Go upside down? No. I already forgot. Okay, so pretend that's a glass. Yeah. I'm scooping water out of the tank with a glass. Okay. Lift it up. Keep going up higher until it starts to flow down the tube. And then dip it back in the tank before. There you go. Perfect. Nice. Okay. So now we're removing the water down to the lowest point where we're going. Okay. Let me show you where we're going. We're going right here with the two frags in this area. We're on top of this rock right here. She wants to cover up, cover up the purple coralline algae. She doesn't like the way it looks. So we're going to cover it up with some Montiparos. <clears throat> so here's the frags. I think it's a good idea. You trying to get them out of the bags? I was trying. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Well, I couldn't. I'm going to get You could use them with the bow cutters. I tried. Squeeze really hard. Squeeze really hard. Go underneath the knot and just like a pair of scissors and squeeze oh, it. Oh, underneath the knot? And just clip it like, yeah, clip it like a pair of scissors. Squeeze. Ah. I'm not a good bone no. chopper. No. <clears throat> it's not working for you? Mm-mm. Yes. So there's one. Okay. There's two. Perfect. So now you need to remove the coral from the plug. Which is, I'm sure, it's going to go as well as opening the. It bags. should be easy. It should be easier. So she's going to take these same bone cutters. And hold the plug from the bottom, hold it upright. Let me get a close shot. And then you're going to put the, the bone cutters at the base of the plug, right where the glue line would be. Right here? Yep. <gasps> and there you go. And you squeeze. Oh, Perfect. Wow. That was a lot easier. <laughs> okay. Yep. There we go. And this is to Number prevent two. the this is, well, we can't frag use, looking. You don't like the way the frag plugs look. Right. Yep. So we're both of the same opinion. Okay. So now you can stop your siphon. Oh. Just pull it out of the tank, stick it in the bucket. Okay. Check. Okay. And where are we going? Show me where okay. we're going with this. So, oh, we're going to have to move Mr. Hermit here. So you're moving some. Hermits oh, and snails out of the way. What didn't go? Far enough. Oh, we need to go further? Yeah. Oh, I thought we were where we need to be. No. All right, so you gotta siphon some more water out. Um, well, we can oh, start you go there. Ahead. You That's can, fine. You can we siphon. can start there. Let's put them where you want to. Well, I can put them right here and right here. And you gotta look at a flat surface where you're going. If you wanna go down that ledge, I think it's a good That's idea. That's what I wanted, was let's this ledge that. right go here. Go ahead. It's, it's, you can start the siphon again. All right. Pretend it's a glass. I know, don't tell me to stop. No, put it, yep. You can't. No, it didn't work. What? You can't turn it upside down until... Until it's in? Yep, lift it up, and then you have to put it back in up so that way. There you go. And then you can flip it upside down. And see how it's still flowing? There you go. You just can't allow air. If you allow air to get in the tube, then it won't keep siphoning. So the name of the game is keep the air out of the tube. So while she's finishing that, what we're using, I'll show you guys is we're using the Cora Fix. This is the pro adhesive. It's got a, it's a much, it's, this is expensive. I want to say this thing's like $60, but um, it's a very viscous or thick glue. It's easy to work with. Um, we're using that from Two Little Fishies. The bone cutters she just used are uh, Ocean Wonders bone cutters. These retail for around $20.
<clears throat> How are we doing okay. with the water level? Good. Okay. Yep, I'll just stick that in this bucket in the same so it doesn't drip. Okay. Okay, so let's let's look at where we're going again. Okay. Here, show me. <clears throat> so one right here. Okay. And then one right here. Okay. So why don't we grab the glue? Okay. 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 See if it'll squeeze. Squeeze it to see if any air comes out. Is it clogged or is it, or is it stuck? Okay. Air comes out. Okay. So you want to turn turn it upside down first, and shake it down like ketchup to get it before you start squeezing. Shake it down. Okay. Not see if you get coral, right? It's not going to fly out like you think. Okay. There you go. Now. It didn't come down. So when you squeeze, does anything come out? No. I smell glue though. Yeah. There you go. <gasps> okay. All right, hold on, let me get a good shot. Okay. Go ahead and put a little good dab there. Is my block in your view? No, you get a good shot. Oh, my. Is it not coming out? No. Unless that's a good dab. <laughs> not so much. That's a good dab? Let me see. No? Yeah, it's a fair amount. I don't like a lot of excess like you do it. Okay. I use too much glue, is that what you're saying? Um, did I say that? So wait, wait, wait. You want to put a little bit on the coral too. Okay. If you have oh, the, if you have the strength in you, bigger. and dab dab it on the table, dab it on the uh, yeah. Towel. There you go. Towel. Get it dry on one side. There you go. A little bit if you can. That's good. Thin layer on the coral. Oh. Okay. And then let me see if I can get down here. So basically, you're gonna put it and kind of wiggle it. So you kind of feel like it's in a good spot, you know what I mean? Like kind of little micro turn left, micro turn right, so it feels stable. How does it feel? Does it feel? Feels like I got glue on my nail. <laughs> How does the coral feel? Oh. Does it feel stable? Yeah. Okay. Sure. No. No. A little wobbly. I mean, it's a rock on rock. Okay, that looks stable right there. Okay. Can we just move that hermit it? crab in the way? This yeah. guy. Yeah, just move him. Just drop him in the sand. He's kind of happy right there. <laughs> just He's in the shot. Okay. So if you feel like it's stable, go ahead and splash it. Yeah. So what the water does is it starts the hardening process for the glue. What's everybody the cyanoacrylate or crazy glue uh, does a great job gluing corals on wet rock, but is horrible at gluing stuff underwater. And if you get one drop of water in that tube, it'll harden the whole tube. And it takes about 15 minutes to set. set. Okay, next right. one. Next one. All right, where did I say? Right here? Um, let me see. I think you said, I think you said right around here. I mean, you're trying to get them to grow together, right? We're trying yeah. to leave one spot still for like another. Like, right here? Yeah. Remember, we're looking for like a bright orange hammer at some point. Okay, it's a good amount, right? Yeah, and I'd be, see how it's More? flat? See how it's flat right here and it's not flat there? Yeah, but so that's... So when I put the coral, you think it's too close to that too one? Too close to that one. Okay, well you can try putting it there. There you go. I'll go towards yeah. that way. How about that? You can, yeah, push the coral on that spot and then... Yep, drying it off. Thin layer on the coral. So these are... Montiparas, um, these are SPS or small pulp stony corals. Um, high light requiring corals, a level four coral, which is a skilled level. We're not really sure if these are going to grow in a biocube or not because we have power compact lighting. Dang it. Stuff, you got glue in your nail? Oh, my nail again. So we got the Superman Montipara. No, I can see a gap underneath it. We That's got not going to work? It's. Look, it's, it's not going to work. Because you didn't put it where I suggested. Well, I don't like where you suggested. Oh, okay. So Look, it's right on top of the other one. Okay, if you like where it's at. How about that? Well, you're not thinking ahead. Do you, are you, do you still want that orange hammer? I don't know. Are you panicking right now? Maybe. <laughs> do you well, now to... there's glue everywhere. Hold on. Let me see. So you don't want it to be right here, close to this one? It's fine. Wherever's best. So, 
And so you can lift it off too if you're not happy and reapply. It's, it doesn't hurt to build it up. Just leaves white glue. It leaves white glue, which stresses you out. Yes. But that white glue will get covered with coralline algae, coralline algae which you hate <laughs> quickly. Okay, I think that's good. And this one's stable. Okay. So the way we check to see if it's stable, so I'll take like one finger, just push on it. If it's not moving with gentle pressure, and now that'll solidify it. It takes 15 minutes to harden. Are you, are you okay with those two positions? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So as I was saying, those are small pulp stony corals. We got a Montipora, a Superman Monty, and we got a Rainbow Monty. And she's hoping to get a sunset. Montipera here to finish your little garden. So this is like your idea was you wanted to do these similar to your Recordia garden, right? Um, Where you have several corals that are the same, kind of near each other and create. Well, a crate. the idea is that it covers the rock and it's like ground cover, kind of like you would do with ivy. The idea is to cover up the purple coralline algae, right? Which you don't like, right? Okay, which is a sign of a very healthy tank that's doing well, right? Okay. <laughs> I know I have a tank doing well. Okay. I don't need designs. Okay. Well, we're done with the, the frag placement video. We hope you guys learned something from this. Um, we're going to go ahead and fill the tank back up. This is Smiley Dakota for Aquarium Outfitters asking you to support your local fish store. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next week.